Hi friends, Masella here from Learn to Grow. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own herbal infused oils. You can use fresh herbs from your garden, just make sure you dry them first. Right now I'm drying some English lavender as well as rosemary and oregano. I got that inside. I harvested this English lavender from my mom's garden, so thank you mom. I grew French lavender this year and it didn't do as well. In fact, the English lavender flowers are fuller, they've got more buds, so I think I like this better and I'll be growing these in the future instead. Infusing oils with your homegrown herbs is a great way to use them and preserve them as well as benefiting from the medicinal and soothing properties. Herbal infused oils has so many uses. You can use them for health and beauty such as massage oil or skin moisturizer. Use them to make salves as well as lip balms. Or you can use them for culinary uses such as salad dressings or a dipping oil. In particular, these two here, rosemary and lavender, has soothing and calming effects. So these are perfect for massage oils. A couple more information about infused oils is that they're not essential oils. They're simply infused with the essential oils from the herbs itself. So they are not as pure and you won't need a carrier oil to dilute them. There's two ways to make your own infused oils. The first part is using a crock pot or a slow cooker and the second part will be the solar infusion. So this video is using your slow cooker which is going to be a lot quicker than the solar method which is what I prefer if I'm in a hurry to make my oils. So here's the video for the quick method. I hope that you find it helpful and get inspired to make your own herbal infused oils. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Make sure to dry your herbs thoroughly. Any moisture left on the flowers or leaves can cause bacterial growth as well as making your oil rancid. So I'm removing the leaves off these sprigs and it's a good idea to crush them coarsely the leaves or the flowers which will help release some of the essential oils. So we're doing the crock pot method. This is a lot quicker than using the solar method. So what we're going to do is strip off the lavender flowers off the stems just like so here if you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to put at least a quarter to half an inch layer of dried lavender flowers. Then we'll top it off with about an inch of oil. I am now adding my extra virgin olive oil. The reason why I'm using the extra virgin olive oil is because it's more stable than other oils and also has a longer shelf life. Could be used for health and beauty products and even for culinary uses. I've got about a quarter inch layer of dried lavender flour, so I'm adding about half an inch to an inch of olive oil. So you can do equal parts or you can do one part dried herbs to two to three parts olive oil. Dried herbs tend to expand or dried flowers, so you want to make sure you pour enough oil to cover all the dried flowers or herbs, leaving at least half an inch to an inch of olive oil above the dried herbs or flowers. Keep your crock pot at the lowest setting with temperatures between 100 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I had my crock pot set on low. I went ahead and turned it to warm because the temperature spiked up to over 140 degrees. You don't want it to be too hot. It can burn herbs. You're just trying to extract the oil from them. I will be infusing this for eight hours total. So it's been about five hours now. The longer the infusion, the more potent the oil will be for you. It's time to strain our oil. It's finally cooled. It's been in a crock pot for almost eight hours with temperatures between 110 to 125. So I've got a rubber band around the cheese cloth so you'll keep it in place so it doesn't sink in. And we're going to go ahead and pour our infused oil in there. And make sure our hands are clean when you do this. And your containers are all clean so you don't contaminate anything. We're going to take the cheesecloth and squeeze the rest of the oil out with all the good stuff out of it and then we'll bottle this up. It's time to bottle up our oils. I'll be using these cute little jars with this cork topper and a decorative butterfly since I'll be giving these two as gifts. I usually use these dark amber bottles for long-term storage just because it protects the oil from breaking down if exposed to light, but you always want to keep these in a dark, cold place anyway, especially if you're using a clear bottle, you don't want to expose to light. Doesn't that look so cute? These make such nice gifts. I think I made about two, over a little bit over two cups of lavender 
infused oil. We got our jars for that. These should store up to 9 to 12 months if stored in a cool, dark, and dry place. I hope that you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and we'll be making some salts out of some of these oils that we're infusing. Have a great day!